Women want a lot of things, but there are some that they want more than others. In this video, I'm gonna be telling you about the top six things that women want from their dream guy. Are you that guy for her? Keep watching. Hello there, my name is Jessica, and this is my channel. If you'd like to interact with me beyond this YouTube video, you can find me on one major platform, patreon.com forward slash Jessica OS. Hit me up, sign up as a VIP, and I'll jump on a call with you. Now that you know how to reach me, we'll jump right in. Listen, women want these six things from their dream guy. After this video, you most likely will be questioning whether you're actually the dream guy for her, or she's just been stringing you along, or better yet, you've been in a situationship all by yourself. Number one, emotional availability. Now, there's this, dare I say, toxic narrative that men are supposed to be aloof, men are not supposed to show emotion, men are not supposed to cry, especially African men, right? <laughs> and, you know, I really think that it's unfortunate that men are being held to such a high standard when emotion is such a powerful thing that can literally open doors for you. When men tend to be emotionally unavailable for the women in their lives, it creates a wedge or puts a wedge between them. And over time, she's going to find that um, emotional support from other people outside your relationship. And so if you're a guy out there who's been conditioned to be this hard, lean, mean machine who won't cry, won't show any kind of emotion that will make you come across as softer and that kind of thing, you might be doing yourself a disservice. There are other guys who are using emotions to their advantage because they are there for their women. They empathize and they understand what their women are going through. And without delving into specifics, you know, I just, I'm just trying to say that you win more by being emotionally available to women as opposed to being completely cordoned off. You don't care about anything. You don't stop for anybody, you know, not even the woman in your life when she really needs you to be there to care for her, to show that you actually love her as you say you do. You think that exhibiting too much of your feelings is a weakness. I disagree. I think that if you really feel a certain way about someone, let them know. That only will reinforce their feelings for you and will help your relationship grow. Ooh, that rhymed. I should get into rap music. Or maybe not. So yes, definitely women want men to be emotionally available, you know. As a caveat, I would say don't overdo it as well where you're so emotional that it's a turnoff. You're more emotional than she is. You know, crying at every movie, weeping when she can't come and see you, no. No, no, no. I'm not trying to turn you into a wuss, I'm just saying, have a nice balance. Being closed off completely will hurt your relationship instead of helping it. Number two, protection. Naturally, men tend to be the protectors in the relationship, and it's a really nice gesture when a man offers that to his woman and she has no doubt whatsoever that he's got her back. And women do want that protection. They want to feel protected when they're around you. They wanna know that you've got their back and you're going to fight for them if need be. Um, and that's something that you can't take for granted. If you watching me right now knows that you are coward and you're not someone who would really be confrontational with people if they got nasty with your woman or anything like that, then you may want to work on such a thing. Because you see, the minute someone attacks her, either verbally, on social media, in person, you know, and you say nothing as her man, she begins to see you this big. Women want to know that you've got them and that no one can just talk to them anyhow because you are around and you are gonna kick their behinds from here to Mars if they ever tried it. Even if deep down, you're not that kind of guy, fake it, fake it. Trust me, it will inure to your own benefit. You could even be that guy whose bark is louder than his bite. But so far as the bark is convincing enough and will keep all other dogs out of the yard, you're home free. What do you lose, all right? And I know this comes naturally to a lot of guys. If you really love a woman, protectiveness is something that is second nature to you. Number three, provision. And I had to go there, absolutely. Men are 
all over the world expect it to provide. Things are changing in a lot of households, but if you ask me, not fast enough. And so a lot of traditional women do still expect the man to even be sometimes the sole provider of their household, um, while she maybe nurtures the home, cooks and cleans and does more traditional things associated with women. And even in households where there's a double income salary and you know, woman brings money home, man brings money home, largely the man usually would even take the bigger chunk of the responsibility. It's almost an unspoken thing. And for a lot of men, it's also an ego thing, you know, where he's the one in charge of the big financial tasks that keep relationships together. Women wanna know that you can provide for her. And if you also find yourself with a really traditional woman, you might end up doing absolutely everything. I don't know how you feel about that, but that's just the way a lot of women have been socialized to believe. You know, men should do the provision and they do the nurturing. Let's move on to number four, leadership. Leadership. Now, leadership is such a powerful thing. Depending on your religious affiliation, you have a lot of religions putting men as the head of families. Um, even if you're not so religious, it's almost second nature for the man to be the one to lead and to be in the leadership position. To be a man of impact, you need to learn how to lead. Now, leading doesn't necessarily mean you know your way all the time, but it just means that you have enough clout to guide and direct the relationship that you're in, to determine the pace and to put things pretty much under your control. So some of the best leaders are those who actually serve. And so you can also have the whole leadership by example approach where not only are you telling the woman in your life how you think the course of the relationship should progress, but you're also showing her why you guys need to go in this direction because you're leading by example. Through your thoughts and actions, you're showing her why she needs to follow you on a certain tangent to get a specific outcome that will benefit both of you in the end. Leadership is such a powerful thing. And if you're not sure how to lead when you're in a relationship, there's so much literature out there that can actually offer you great information on how to lead. And if you want me to create a separate video on that, I'll be happy to do that. Just drop comments in the comment section. And if I get a lot of those, I will jump on that video ASAP. Leaders are not only born, they can be made. And that's the good thing. Number five, integrity is such a powerful thing. Now the dictionary defines integrity as the quality of being honest and having strong moral principles. Now there's nothing like finding a partner who has integrity, who values integrity, who would always tell you things to your face and as is. In a world where deceit is high and people are looking for shortcuts, if you are the man who can show the woman in your life that you have integrity and you will not sacrifice your integrity for anybody or anything, you will win over her trust. And along with her trust will come love and respect. You see, there are too many people in the world today who say one thing and do the other, who promise heaven and give people hell. And so if you turn out to be that man who is a man of your word, your word is your bond. If you can't promise, you won't do it just to satisfy her. You would tell her as is, and she knows that she can always come to you for nothing but the truth. You will not only win her over daily, you will earn her respect every single time. And guess what? She'll also be going out there and telling people about the kind of man that you are. She will wear you like a badge of honor and she will always speak positive things about you. Integrity is something that you should never take for granted as a human being if you want to be taken seriously by anyone. And so just keep that in mind as you approach women, as you deal with women, and even beyond women, as you go into your corporate world, as you go into the corporate world, or just interact with the world around you, integrity is something that's missing. And so if you're able to show it and show it in abundance, that can put you ahead of most men. And finally, pronouncement. There are many women whose love language involves borderline acknowledgement and pronouncement. All right, by this I mean, she wants to know that she means so much to you. She wants to know that you have told every single person who's important in your life that she is the one for you. When you're dating a woman 
and you haven't made an effort to introduce her to the people that matter, to show the world that she is really, truly the one for you, the one you wanna sacrifice the rest of your life for, the one you wanna build a family with, you have nothing there. Women want to be acknowledged, as men do as well. And if you are a man who always gives her that respect and gives her that position in your life, you will always have her in your corner because you're not hiding her in some dark back room when your friends are around. She sits at the table with you. It's almost as if you're literally standing at the mountaintop and telling everybody, this is my woman. I'm so proud of her. And there's nobody else in the world right now that I'd rather be with. If you wanna win a woman over, if you wanna keep your woman, pronouncements are things that you must do as often as possible. Pronouncements that specifically put her on a pedestal where other people are concerned. She's your top priority. You think about her all the time. You take decisions that affect both of you and you value her decisions as well. This is something that if you do, will put you in a very good position where your woman is concerned. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, you know what to do. Smash the like button, don't forget to subscribe, and turn on all notifications. I wanna give a special shout out to a patron called Theodore who lives in the Bahamas. How you doing? I really appreciate you. Take care. Bye-bye for now.